Hi there, this is Martin from JetBrains. In this screencast, we'll have a quick look at the hotspots feature in that cover. I just ran some unit tests with code coverage enabled. We get a tree in which we can see the coverage percentage for every class and method in our code base. Code coverage is important, but we should probably not aim for 100% just to get all the bars in the green. Instead, we should decide which parts of our code definitely need to be tested, which is something that we can easily determine based on the hotspots view. The hotspots view helps us identify the riskiest classes and methods in our code base. Hotspots are calculated based on two metrics, cyclomatic complexity and low unit test coverage. In the project I have on screen here, we can see that the info module class is the riskiest for now. It has high cyclomatic complexity and isn't covered by unit tests at all. Simple JSON here is another one, with high cyclomatic complexity and low coverage. Cyclomatic complexity is a metric that tracks the number of independent paths through codes. A higher number means that there are more branches in there, such as if constructs or loops. The higher the number, the more tests we would need as each test would need to cover one path. So no tests for this one is quite risky. We probably want to add a series of tests for these classes and more specifically for the method shown in the hotspots view when hovering the class. We can navigate to the code by simply clicking the class name in the hotspots view. Code coverage percentage is one thing, but combining it with code complexity is a better metric to see where tests are missing. The hotspots view helps us detect which classes in our codebase are not tested well enough. Give it a try!